Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. You know what time it is when you come in here, hit that like button and show your boy some love, man. But then, anyway, this video here is about uh, Boosie. And Boosie was saying, you know, why he was gone, all of the rappers that were saying free Boosie. They ain't saying him nothing while he was down the road. You know what I mean? And if you just go back and you just look at how big Trill Entertainment was, you know what I mean? Like, they had La Fat Mouse, uh, Shell, Big Head, Fox, Webby, La Fat, you know what I mean? God bless the dead, you know what I mean? My condolences to his family. Like, they had a dynasty over there. And, you know, Booster was the trending topic at that time. Him and Webber, they was trending topic at that time. You know what I mean? Booster was that nigga. You know what I mean? Hands down. Before, you know, he uh, got in trouble about, you know, the murders or whatever that he was locked up about. Booster was that guy. It wasn't that one time when you looked on the TV and you didn't see Trail Entertainment. You know what I mean? Because they had, their buzz was just that big as... The Hot Boys, you know what I mean? Not comparing the two, but I'm just saying, like, the buzz between, you know, the two camps, you can you can tell they had a big uh, impact on the streets, you know what I mean? I ain't seen no trail entertainment tattoos or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, like, as far as with that generation, you know what I mean? Boosie set the standard for the generation that he raised, you know what I mean? And... I know, you know, Boosie was like, damn, all everybody over here trill with me. All, all my fans probably thinking that these niggas probably sending me letters. They probably got down making sure I go to the store every week, even though they probably weren't trying to count his pockets or whatever. But Boosie was probably thinking like, damn. They street niggas just like me. They know how this shit go when a nigga fall down. You know what I mean? A nigga pose a goddamn, send him a kite or a picture or something. You know what I mean? How, how you, how we, we, we know how this street shit go. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure if the shoe was on the other foot, I know if one of his dogs got locked up. You know, Boosie keep it real with the streets. You know what I mean? He keep it real with the chain gang. He keep it real with, you know what I mean? His folks, period. So I know if it all bought down to it and you know, one of his partners probably would have got locked up. You know what I mean? He probably would have had uh, lawyers retained. Probably would have had, uh, you know, the, uh, the bondsman probably would have been ready. All of that. You know what I mean? So for him to just fall like that and just watch how all this riches just go down and they just take his mansion and all that and everybody saying free boots you would think. Like, damn, Trill Entertainment going to hold Boosie down. Matter of fact, they made, matter of fact, they made songs about, uh, uh, Boosie, we miss you. You know what I mean? And that's the crazy thing about it. You will think, you know, when you hear the song, Boosie, we miss you, like, you would think that them boys probably, you know, put some bread together, like, shit, everybody, you know, put a little 10 spot, little 20 spot, or whatever, and got them. Seeing had some down there, but you never know until you know, uh, you hear from the horse's mouth and shit. You heard it from Booster Mouth. Cat Williams, not even, uh, uh he's not even a, a rapper, he's not even in the music, he's a he's a comedian. And he and for him to give Booster 10 bands, you know what I mean, when he came home, that's love, you know what I mean, because he didn't even get that from the day one niggas he was out there. In the streets with thugging and you know what I mean all that with and uh, what he said uh, your God implies they they show love they came by his, uh, Mom Duke's house and uh, show love before he went to trial but like you you know that's how you know shit be all hype sometimes you you know the internet will make you think like yeah everybody keeping it real. You know what I mean? They holding Booster down. But to hear him say it, he said it out of laughter, but I know it hurt. It because I know uh, Booster, if he fuck with you, you know what I mean? 
he 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 just one of them type niggas. He cut for his goddamn people. And another thing I want to talk to y'all about too, man. Since I since Jack on the way home, man. How y'all feel about Jack Boy saying, you know, uh, Donald Trump his boy? You know what I mean? How y'all feel about Jack Boy rooting for Trump? You know what I mean? And and just be real with yourself on this situation, dog, because you can't tell me if one of your dogs was locked locked up down the road. You know what I mean? He been going away from his kids. You know what I mean? He just been off the scene. They've been, you know, you hear rumors. The guards been extorting them and jumping on him and all kind of shit like that. You know, nobody don't wish that on their own, uh, they enemy, bro. Like, and for the, the president to pardon the charges and put him back on the street, bro. No other president. I don't care who you is. I don't give a fuck what you say. No president ever in history has done it. Probably will never will do it the way Trump did. You know what I mean? Like I said, that man fuck with the streets. Fuck what everybody saying. Ah, oh, he this, he that. Man, that man just made sure these boys could get back on the streets. Fuck what you talking about. I feel what Jack Boy say. You damn right you supposed to root for Trump, bro. That nigga got damn letting that nigga making sure Lil Yak get back on on the streets, nigga. That nigga did some shit a bondsman couldn't do. A fucking shit. Nobody couldn't do it. Trump made that shit happen. You know what I mean? And salute to Trump. Yeah, I said it. Salute to Trump because he made sure. Fuck what everybody else got to say about him, the negativity shit. At the end of the day, that, that man made sure. He he stood on business, like the young niggas say. He stood on business. He handled that. Before he got out the chair, that man made sure he went on and pardoned them boys. And he stood on his word. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me know what y'all think about that shit in the comment section, bro. Spray paint, I'm gone.